All right, you guys, welcome to class. Uh, my name is Teacher Chad. This hour, we are going to be uh, um, practicing our, our reading and pronunciation as we read through a, uh, a short star story called uh, Weekend in Baldios. Okay, it's a, a short story about, I believe, a, a soldier that, uh, that spends a weekend in the Philippines. I could be incorrect about the soldier part, um, but yes, that, I do know that, that it's a weekend in the Philippines. So uh, we're going to uh, read about that, practice our pronunciation, and, uh, and see how we are uh, improving uh, from where, where we were at before. Okay, uh, let's see who we have in class so far. Bruno, what's up, man? How you doing? Not much, and you? I'm doing okay. My, my voice is coming along. Oh, yeah, so, are you better? <laughs> yeah, the uh, the the other day it was um, it, it it actually hurt a lot. Today it's just weak. It's uh, yeah, it's very I, weak. I know why you are better. You just uh, you did you uh, did you drink uh, Coca Cola with vodka? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you did. So I so that better. so that did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. I do have my. Uh, I do have my Coke. I, I, I made sure to go out and, and get that because I was. Uh, um, I the only thing that I do feel I do feel really tired because my body it, it's having to fight whatever I have going on. So I do feel tired, and that's the that's the only thing. Uh, yeah. So I was like, all right, I need to pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chad, uh, you, yeah. you said something about verbally cutting down some classes. Yeah, yeah. So I, I can I can only teach about thirty hours a week now. That's so exactly. I'm 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 looking looking to see whether or not if I'm gonna uh, do my night hours or the morning hours or how how it's going to be. Uh, but uh, yeah. Do you, do you know why they did that? Um, they they had, they had reduced the uh, hours for uh, for a lot of the teachers, and I had a lot of the hours kind of gobbled up. And uh, and they're like, so that other teachers can teach, uh, you need to reduce the amount of hours that uh, that you're working. Um, That's a bummer, but okay. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all right, man. Well, welcome, uh, welcome back to class. Good to have you here. Thanks. All right, uh, Vincenzo, how are you? Uh, make sure that your uh, your microphone is not muted, Vincenzo. Okay, I'm I'm fine. Thank you. Great. Uh, good to have you here in class. How was it? How was your day today? Vincenzo, how what was you your see? day? Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, let's go to. Uh, nothing. Nothing serious. It's a normal day. Okay. All right. No. Sounds good. Thank you. Let's go to uh, Mosin. Mosin, welcome back to class. Uh, welcome back. Uh, how are you? I, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. It's uh, good to, good to have you back here in class. Um, how about? Uh, 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 say that one more time. We'll I hope you do to get. Okay, uh, I think you said I. I uh, um, I hope. I hope you. Uh, I, anyway, there there was a lot of noise going on from uh, uh, from one of the other students. Uh, can you repeat that for me one one more time? I heard I hoped and then it got lost. Do apologize. Okay, so uh, Mohammed, Mohammed, how are you? All right, make sure that uh, um, my your mic is not muted when I uh, when I call on you. How about uh, uh, Fernando? Hello, everybody, I'm here. Ready? Very, very good. Excellent, Fernando. Where are you from? I'm from Canary Islands, Spain. Okay, very good. Very good. And what do you do? What's uh, what's your job, or are you a student? I'm a civil engineer, and I do uh, some consulting projects. 
Okay, fabulous. Fabulous. Good to have you here in class. Thank you. All right, how about uh, Enrique? How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Good. Welcome back to class. Good to see you again. Thank you. All right, how about, uh, let's see who we have. Uh, Diego. Hello. Can you hear Hi, me? Hi, Diego. How are you? I'm fine. Yes, I can Thank hear you, you just fine. Nice to meet you all. Fabulous. Yeah, good to meet you as well. Diego, where are you from? I am from Uruguay, South America, between Argentina and Brazil. From Uruguay. Yes, excellent. Um, and what uh, what city there in Uruguay do you live in? I live in Montevideo, which is the uh, capital city of Uruguay. Very good. Yes, the uh, the best mate I ever tasted came from Uruguay. I uh, <laughs> I, I lived in uh, in uh, Buenos Aires for a time, and I met a uh, a gentleman from uh, from Uruguay, and we were sitting and we were talking for a while, and he says, "Hey, do you want some mate?" And I said, "Sure, I'll 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 drink some mate with you," and uh, he uh, he brings out the the this, his cup and everything like that, and he pours it in, and it was almost like a uh, like a uh, polvo. It was like a uh, uh, kind of, it wasn't as uh, grainy or, or whatever, but it was just kind of like a, a dust or whatnot. And I was like, "Well, that's interesting. I've never seen that before." He's like, "Yeah, it comes from the uh, the. Uh, um, it may have come from Brazil, but they were selling it there in Uruguay, and so that's kind of where, what he was telling me about." And I was like, "Okay, well, let's uh, let's have a taste." And it was it was very rich and it was very delicious. I liked it a lot. It was good. <laughs> yes, uh, what well, is tea for British people and coffee for uh, many countries? Mate. Mate. Yeah. If yeah. you want to recognize a Uruguayan anywhere <laughs> in the world, he's going to be walking on the street with a with thermos, thermos flask <laughs> and a mate on the other hand. And that's a Uruguayan guy. <laughs> exactly. I, I, uh, I live in Costa Rica right now. And I actually saw a guy in the park. I was with my wife, and uh, he was playing with his kids. And I kid you not, he had the thermos here in his arm, and he had, he was drinking his mate. And I said, he was, I go, I go, hey babe, he was that Uruguay. guy. Yeah, I was like, that guy. <laughs> he is probably either from Uruguay or he is uh, uh, he's uh, from the older older uh, generation of uh, of uh, you know the people from uh, Buenos Aires, the Los Porteños. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah. And I was like, I, I bet. So I went up and talked to him. He's from Uruguay. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Well, welcome, welcome to class. Good to have you Thanks. here. Uh, let's see, Amparo, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm back. Yes, great. Good to have you here. Nice to see you again. Um, very good. Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, Aga. Aga, how are you? Hello, I'm very good. How are you? Have you recovered already? Uh, I, I wasn't able to work out today. I was supposed to. Um, I may tomorrow, uh, but we'll uh, we'll see how I feel in the morning. If, uh, if my uh, breathing is not back to normal, I probably won't go running. Um, it's not very cold, but I, I don't want to... Uh, um, I don't want to have to miss another day of work. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's a uh, that's the issue, and it doesn't really hurt that bad. My my vocal cords are just weak. That's uh, that's the main thing. But okay. uh, yeah, good to have you back in class, Aga. Good to Thank see you. Thank you. Uh, how about uh, Javier? How are you, Javier? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Hi, uh, I am Hi, how are you? Great, uh, Javier. Where are you from? I am from Ecuador. I live in Quito. Okay, very cool. So we have a couple Ecuadorians in class right now. Very good. Yes. Um, uh, Amparo, what uh, what city are you from again? Guayaquil. <laughs> from from where? I am from Guayaquil. From Guayaquil. Okay. Very cool. Guayaquil. Gotcha. All right. Welcome to class, Javier. Good to have you here. And Larissa, how are you? I am fine, child. And you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Very good. Okay, you guys. Um, the uh, the selection we're going to read, beat ya. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> you were waiting. You were waiting for me to say okay. All right. 
So yes, yeah, so we're, we're going we're going to read through uh, a uh, a short story this hour. Okay, uh, it's listed in the chat box right now. If uh, if you uh, are hanging out in the oh, you beat me there though. If you're hanging out in the uh, uh, Google chat, the uh, link uh, is there for we'll, you. Uh, we'll see how I feel in the morning. If uh, if my uh, breathing is all right, not let's see. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, Vincenzo. This hour, Vincenzo, go ahead and uh, and open up the uh, the link. And uh, I'll have you read. Let's see here. Let me have you read the first Wait two me. paragraphs, please, Vincenzo. Okay. Wait a moment. I'll load it. I'll load it. Mm. Weekend in Baldios by Billy. Born 1953 and from Oak Springs, Arkansas, United States. Author profile. Weekend in Baldios. After 72 days of patrolling the Arabian Sea, waiting for something to happen with the Iran hostage crisis, we were relieved. The USS John Paul Jones came about and set a heading, a heading for Subic Bay, Philippines, at the end of March 1980. Before we left uh, Subic in January, I had met a nice local girl who had been corresponding with through the mail. Her name was Teresa Cruz, or Tessie. My birthday was a couple of days after we pulled in, so when Tessie and I hooked up, she asked me if I had like to go with her to the place she grew up and spent the weekend at her mom and dad's. She told me it was about four hours away, was a little primitive, and in fact many of the residents lived in bamboo huts, but her parents had the house with a three bedrooms and a concrete floor. I had carried over most of my pay for the two months at sea, and I had some uh, leave time coming, and uh, it was my 26th birthday. I thought this could be fun and might turn out to be a birthday weekend to remember. All right, excellent job. Now, one thing that I did notice here uh, from the last time that we spoke, Vincenzo, we talked about your short eye sounds. Okay, now your short I sounds when you read through here sounded great. I did not hear a single short I like in the word this. You did not say these, nor did you say in or little or we. Okay, your, your short I sounds were really, really good. Okay, so good job. Your teaching. Okay, good job. Uh, I try to do, do this. Yeah, you did very Thank well. You. Let's uh, let's practice uh, some words that I've underlined here. Uh, first off, I want to practice the word grew. We're going to practice that gr sound. So it's one sound. We say gr grew. Try that, please. Grew. Where, where is it? Where is it? Grew. Grew. Okay, good. Much grew. better. So we're going to say grew. All right. So uh, uh, to the place, grew. the place she grew up. The place she grew up. Try that. The place she grew up. Grew up. Grew good. Okay, much better. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to focus on that uh, that R sound just after after those types of consonants. Yes. Just remember, you don't want to roll yes, your R and very, say grew. It, it, all right. Okay. Grow. Yes, it's very difficult when there are follow a G, a, a G you know. G, a G. A yeah. Grew. Because it's very right. you have to to make the R immediately, immediately, yes. immediately. So yes. Grow to. Grow. Yes. Yeah, because you treat it as one sound instead of being a G and an R, it's okay. one sound. Uh, the next word I want to I want to tr uh, practice with you is the word patrolling. I'm going to write for you, okay? The word is patrolling, patrol, patrolling. Patrol, pat patrolling. So the the mistake is the T because I don't yeah, say the, the T, T like you. You're gonna like you. Yes. T. 
Patrol. Exactly. Patrol. You treat it more like patrol. a C-H. Yes, yes. We say patrol. patrol. Patrolling. That's how we would say that. Patrolling. That's patrolling. It. Perfect. Patrolling. Okay. Perfect. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, Understand. your other your other sounds yeah. sounded very good. So yes, keep practicing on the R sounds following consonants like a T R. Yes, I know. G R, I know. D R, okay, and C R. Yes. All right? yes yeah. Yes, keep yes, practicing yes, those. Yes. Okay. Good job, Vincenzo. Uh, yes. Let's go to Thank Larissa. Yeah. Okay, and let me have you. Um, uh, read from where it says, I said, uh, sure, let's do it. And read the next two paragraphs, please. I said, sure, let's do it. We boarded a bus on the morning of the 3rd of April for Manila. The, the, the ride was around a three-hour trip with some beautiful scenery enjoyed on the way. Jungle to plains to mountains to valleys. The sight outside the window was constantly changing. Tessie had packed us a lunch of home cooked potato chips, lumpia and fresh mango for dessert. We arrived in Manila around noon and from there we caught a jeepney that would take us to a point where we could catch a um, local bus to Caldios. A jeepney is a converted jeep with seats installed for passengers. They have extended um, beds and can usually transport eight to ten passengers cost us about five dollars the ve vehicles were painted bright colors with fringe and trinkets hanging from the sides they are quite famous and legendary with their open air seating about 30 minutes later the driver let us off at a roadside bus stop and within another 30 minutes the bus picked us up a little less than an hour later we were at Tessie's home town of Baldios I go on oh, just tell there thank you very much uh, let's uh, let's practice some words here okay <clears throat> Uh, first up is the word picked. Okay, uh, you would actually pronounce the uh, this with a d ending, saying uh, picked, um, but we want a t ending. Okay, the word would be picked. Please repeat that. Picked. Good. All right. Uh, now this word here, uh, you had you had used a uh, a uh, uh, the Portuguese i. Okay, that long e sound saying minutes. Okay, the word is actually mi minutes. Try that, please. Minutes. Minutes. Good. One more time. Minutes. Minutes. Good. Okay. Now this word is a little strange. The word is vehicles. Okay. Now um, the best way to uh, remember this is uh, is basically to think of a completely new spelling. Okay. So it's via at the very beginning. Via and then coals like that. Vehicles. Vehicles. Good. Yeah. So we do not pronounce that H. Okay, and it's it's a via. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. Next. Uh, next word is extended. Uh. Let's okay. see. Extended. Right there. So let's practice that ed ending. Extended. Extended. Good. One more time. Extended. Extended. All right. And uh, one last word. It is boarded, and this has an ed ending as well. Did you go boarded? Okay, right there. Boarded. Try that. Boarded. Good. Nice job. One more time. Boarded. Boarded. Good. Okay. Uh, excellent job. Yeah, everything else sounded very good. Nice yeah. work. Thank you. All right. Let's go to my next reader, and this is um, Javier. Okay, Javier, let me have you read the next 
three paragraphs, okay? Starting at Baldios, was, and then you'll go down to uh, Squeeze of My Hand. Yes, okay. Baldios was about a hundred years or so of the main road. The biggest, the biggest was made up of 30 or 40 houses with a third of thin bamboo, hot just like this is safe. Two dear two dear street more like white rice divide the town. Animals were everywhere, the goats and chickens walked around unrestricted. The cows and pigs were in fenced lots. The rest of the house were small, one or two rooms. A small store was near near the road with an open front where an array of merchandise was visible inside. Brick, eggs, cooks, beer, canned goods, and freezer. Tessie told me the owner gold a generator for a few hours a day to operate the freezer for a, pur for a purpose of making ice. There was no electricity except that produced for generators. A man came out to, to meet and give TC a hug. She introduced me, which brought a handshake and a suspicious stare from him. They chatted for a minute, a minute in Tagalog. They were started down one of roads. You are going to get a lot of stars this weekend. They don't see many tourists here, especially Americans, she said with a little squeezy of my hand. Okay. All right. Very good job, Javier. Um, let's uh, let's uh, talk about some things here, okay? Uh, first off, in, in English, usually when you see an E that is at the end of a word, that E is silent, okay? Uh, so, for example, with the word squeeze, okay, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and put this in the chat box for you. Go ahead and look there. The word is squeeze. You had pronounced it squeezy, okay, a including an E at the end, but that E is actually silent. Okay, let's try that word one more time. The word is squeeze. Squeeze. Excellent. Good job. Uh, let's, uh, let's practice another one of those. Okay, the, this word is purpose. Okay, um, you had uh, uh, pronounced the word purposing. Okay, adding an A sound for that E. Remember that E is going to be silent. The word is purpose. Yep, purpose. Great. Okay, uh, the uh, one other thing I want to talk about is the H sound. Um, you were pronouncing that H sound very strongly, kind of like a J in Spanish, saying hand, hand. Okay, in English. The yeah, the H is actually very quiet. Okay, it's more like a breath that we that we make. So instead of saying hand, okay, talking about our hand, okay, it's a h sound. It's really quiet. So we don't press into it like a Spanish J. It's it's a very quiet, like a breath. Okay, hand. Try that, please. Hand. Hand. Okay, lean off of it just a little bit more because you're still saying hand. And what's happening is that your tongue, let's say this is your tongue here, and this is the back of your mouth. Your tongue is raising up to pronounce that okay? So you want your, your tongue to be a little loose. We say hand, hand. Try that. Hand, hand. There you go. Much better. Let's try it one more time. We're going to lean off it just a little bit more. Hand. Hand. Good, good. Okay, uh, another H word that we had here was houses. Houses, okay, just a small breath. Houses. Houses. Good, good. One more time, small breath. Houses. Houses. Good, there you go. Okay, one more word. Okay, this is hundred. <sighs> hundred. 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 Okay, yep, yeah, back off that H just a little. Hundred. Hundred. 
Okay, good. Now, just remember, make a note of that, that the uh, the H in English, yes, it's similar to a, a J in Spanish, but it's not as strong. It's a little less powerful, so you can lean off of it just a little bit. Okay? Um, last, last sound I want to practice with you is the D sound in English. Okay? Uh, this word here is road. Okay? Now, the important thing in English, okay, is that the uh, English D feels like the Spanish R. Okay, and you may be thinking that, that sounds crazy. All right, uh, it's not. It feels exactly like the Spanish R. So, for example, when you say the word aire, okay, let me have you say that word, please. Aire. Uh, I think. Aire, like Buenos Aires. Aire. I think. Aire. Okay, so what your your tongue is hitting the top of your mouth. Okay, it's that d d d sound. So let me have you repeat that sound. D d d. d, d, d. Okay, good. That is the English D sound. Okay, what you're doing is that you're placing your tongue directly behind your teeth and saying road. Okay, and the reason why is because the Spanish D is pronounced that way. You say donde, donde, and your in your tongue is placed against the back of your teeth. Okay, your teeth here. Okay, in an English D, your tongue does not touch your teeth. You want to pull your tongue back and let it hit the top of your mouth, like when you say aire, like that R sound. Aire, aire, aire. Okay, yeah. words like that. So we're going to try that. Okay, we're going to say the word did. Did. Yeah. Did. Okay, did. pull your tongue off the back of your uh, off the back of your teeth. So instead of saying did. Okay, did. Think of an R. Think of a Spanish R. Did. Did. Okay, getting closer. Let's say de, 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 de. Yeah. Okay, did. pronounce that sound for me. Say de, 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 de. De, de, de. All right, pull your tongue off the back of your teeth. De, 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 de. De, 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 de. Okay, getting closer. I can still hear your tongue hitting the back of your teeth. So, uh, Javier, uh, when we have a little bit more time in a following class, okay, uh, come to another one of my reading classes and we can practice that D a little bit more. All right? Mm -hmm. But I want you to think about that. Okay? I want you to think about this, the English D being a Spanish R. Okay? And I want you to practice getting that sound. I don't want your tongue to touch the back of your teeth. I want it to hit the top of your mouth. De, like aire, okay? Aire, aire, okay? That D is the same, all right? Uh, other than that, good reading. We have some things to work on, but we can uh, we can go from there, all right? Nice job. Let's go to Fernando. Hey, we stop? Uh, yes, let me have you uh, continue reading. Uh, from we stopped, let me have you read the next two paragraphs, please. We stopped in front of the biggest house in the village. This was the house her parents lived in. Her mom and dad came out to greet us. First impression was very positive. After some small talk, we were inv invited inside. There were four rooms with an open front porch and a screen in back room. Desi showed me to her room. I told her I could sleep in the coach or the back porch, but she smiled at my obvious awareness and told me, it's okay, don't worry. Next one? Uh, yes, please keep, keep going. I have to admit that I was feeling a little anxiety for the first time. Here I am, here I am just in a country boy, just a country boy from Arkansas, two years removed from my small home Town, and now I'm 30, 100, 300 miles from my seat with a girl I'd only know for a short while in a village of the Philippines with no phone, no transportation and no one knew where I was but whatever I had, I just had to relax and have a good time with my or trust and be on my best behavior which I usually was anyway Okay, very good uh, I want to practice two sounds with you, okay? Uh, first off is going to be the short I sound, all right? This, uh, this first sentence, 
okay? This first sentence has a lot of short I sounds. So for example, you had said in biggest, in village, this, and lived in, okay? Now, with the short I, we say I. Instead of E, it's I. Okay, so you're going to have to push against uh, push against uh, pronouncing that, that, that Spanish uh, E sound, okay, <laughs> and to pronounce an I, okay? So let's take a look at that yeah. sentence one more time, okay? We're, we're going to practice these words here. Whoops, wrong one. There we go. Uh, we stop, we stop okay, yes. In front this of the letters. Good. Sorry? Yeah, keep, keep going. So the we biggest, all right, keep going. Okay. We stopped in front of the biggest house in the village. This was the house her parents her parents lived in. Good. Much better. All right. So uh, you can definitely pronounce that sound, Fernando. Um, now, what you have to do whenever you're reading and or speaking in English, focus on that short I, okay? Because a lot of the other sounds you produce uh, uh, in English are very good, okay? Uh, but Pronouncing that short I sound will make you sound that much more like a, a, a native English speaker, okay? There's one other sound I want to practice with you, okay? Uh, so when we have uh, the S, okay, sometimes, goodness gracious, I keep hitting that one. Here we go. Right here. Okay, so when we have the S sometimes, all right, um, for example, the word screened right here, uh, you had said, and a S screen. Okay, so we want to focus on not pronouncing an eh right in front of that S sound. Okay, so uh, let's read uh, right here, and a screen in back room. And a screen in back room. Good, okay. Um, we also had sleep. You said I could not sleep. So we're going to say I told her I could sleep on the couch. So we want to focus on that S sound only. Okay, go for it. I told her I could I could sleep on the couch. Good. Do it one more time. I told her I could sleep on the couch. Great. Okay. So the two things you need to focus on: your short I sounds and your S sounds. So we don't want to have an E eh in front. Okay. Nice okay. job. Let's go to Enrique. Yes. All right, Enrique. Let me have you uh, read the next two paragraphs, please. Starting with the first night. Mm, okay. The first night was spent relaxing. Mrs. Chris fired up the gas stove and cooked up some kind of vegetable soup, which was delicious. After dinner, we sat on the front porch, sipping drinks, smoking, and chatting. Her dad was a world, 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 world. world to a veteran who served under MacArthur. He didn't talk at all about the war, but Desi told me that he saw quite, quite a lot of action and that he drew a small pension from the army, which was one, one of the reasons they had such a nice house. But through the village, lamp lights, were visible and as the night progressed the lights began to off to go off. I remember thinking that this was such a simple existence. Wake up when the sun comes come up comes up. Go to sleep when it gets dark. No TVs, not nightclubs, just the dark and the sounds from the nervy jungle. That, those sounds were very prevalent. A screech followed by a growl and then a whistle continues. Okay, very good. Now I think it took you just a second to warm up um, because I, I wrote yeah. down here on my notes um, you had an S sound at the very beginning saying uh, the first night was S spent. Okay, yes. but then was no, spent. yeah, no other S sounds after that. You said them perfectly after that. Okay, and then uh, and then delicious. Uh, delicious, you had pronounced uh, delicious using a, uh, a Spanish I, but then you went back to your awesome short I sounds for the rest. That's why I, I say I think you needed to warm up just uh, just a bit, and then everything else yeah. sounded really good. 
Okay, um, let's go over a couple words uh, where the um, uh, pronunciation was, was wrong on it. Okay, so this, this word here, when you have two N's, okay, that is dinner. Okay, dinner. with one N, that is diner. Okay, so this word is actually dinner. Dinner. Okay, good. Yeah, so with one N, uh, that is diner, and that is a place. Okay. Okay. With one end, that is a place to eat at. Is a it is a di a diner. You eat dinner at your house. Okay. Or you go out to dinner. Okay. Uh -huh. But that's the that's the difference. Um, the other word I wanted to practice is nearby. It's two words nearby. slammed together. Okay. Nearby. Okay. One more time. Nearby. Good. Nearby. Okay. Excellent. Um, great job on catching yourself with that s here on comes. Okay, sun comes back, uh, comes up. Okay, things like that. Excellent job with prevalent. I don't know if you've heard that word before yet, but uh, yes, the accent goes at the very beginning. Prevalent. Okay, very good job. Really good. Thank you. Okay, uh, Thank let's you. Uh, let's uh, continue on. Let's go to um, Diego. Diego, how are you? Yes, here I am. There you are. Uh, let me have you continue. Please read the next two paragraphs, please. All right. Mr. Cruz was a quiet man and spoke excellent English, but was a man of very few words. He did tell me that sometimes he and other men from the village would go fishing or hunting at night during certain times of the year. Walking to that jungle at night, I was afraid to step off the porch. We called it a night. I didn't sleep much that first night. I still felt uncomfortable about the situation, and it was so quiet except for the screeching, growling, and whistling. It seemed like I'd just fallen asleep when the morning was announced by roosters. Yes, a complete choir of roosters. The sun peeked through the window and a very fragrant smell filled the air. There was the familiar smell of eggs cooking, but also that of fish. Mr. Cruz had gone fishing before sun up. So for breakfast we enjoyed eggs, fresh baked bread and catfish. All right, very good. Uh, nice job with your ED endings. Okay, uh, you nailed them all. Um, <clears throat> your other, your other uh, uh, pronunciations, like with the S and the uh, uh, your T's and D's, sounded really good as well. I had two short I sounds that I wanted to practice, and they're both uh, very similar. Okay, both an I L L. So we have still and filled. Here on both these words, you had said steel and field. Okay, so let's practice these uh, these phrases here. I still okay. felt uncomfortable. Try that, please. I still felt uncomfortable. Okay, so here we're going to say still instead of steel. Still. Oh, still. Yeah. I still felt uncomfortable. Perfect. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try that same ill sound. Okay, so a very fragrant smell filled the air. A very fragrant, uh, a very fragrant smell filled the air. Great. Okay, that's a that's a, a great example of a good short I sound. Okay, nice job, nice job. Everything Thanks. else sounded sounded really good. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, let's go to uh, Bruno. Um, Hi there. Please read the next two paragraphs. Okay. Okay. Uh, after breakfast, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, after breakfast, Desi's mom had a char for us. There was to be a wedding in the village that night, and she needed some material for a dress she was making for the bride. She asked us to go to Tarlac for her. Mr. Spruce tried to give us some money, and after a lot of effort, I convinced her to let me pay for it. We headed down. We headed down to the bus stop to catch the one and only.
only bus that would take us to Dart, a good sized town about 45 minutes away. We would have to shop fast so we could catch the bus back. The bus made one trip from the city out into the country and back once a day and if you missed the return trip you were stranded. Uh, sorry. The bus showed up and we boarded. The passengers were quite an assortment of interesting characters. Half of them either had a goat, a chicken or a pig as their traveling companion. Why they were taking their pigs, chickens and goats to town? I really didn't want to know. But one thing for sure, the animals weren't that crazy about making the trip. Halfway to the city, one of the pigs picked a fight with one of the goats and if it uh, and if that wasn't bad enough, one of the chickens decided to join him too. Snorting, baying and chicken feathers filled the inside of the bus until their owners could settle them all down. Okay, good job. Uh, let's uh, let's practice some some words here. Okay. <clears throat> sure. Okay, so um, here at the beginning, uh, you had said, or uh, at the at the uh, on this last sentence here. Okay, uh, you had said s snorting, and then uh, using a a a, a uh, Portuguese i saying chi chicken. Okay, so we're gonna say snorting and baying and chicken okay. feathers filled the inside of the bus. Okay, try that phrase uh, that sentence one more time or that part okay. of the sentence. Okay. Snorting, baying, and chicken feathers filled the inside of the bus. Good. Okay. Um, let's practice the word characters. Okay, so the accent goes at the very beginning. So instead of saying characters, it's characters. Okay, characters. Good. One more time. Characters. Characters. Excellent. All right. Uh, next word is the word were. Now, okay. um, here you had said where. Okay, it was yeah. it was very close between the between the two. Remember, where has an H. Yeah, I know to that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, so you were stranded. You were stranded. You uh, were no. That's hard now. Just because you said it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Were okay. Think more of an er sound. Were okay. you were stranded. You were stranded. Great. There you go. One more time. You were stranded. You were stranded. Good. Good. Nice job. Okay. Um, okay. Next. Next word here is um, breakfast. Okay. This is going to be a short, uh, a short e sound. So instead of saying breakfast, okay, bre breakfast. Okay. Breakfast. There you go. That's it. Okay. One more time. Breakfast. Breakfast. Okay. Excellent job. Yep. Other than that, uh, really good job on your other sounds. Very good. Yeah, thanks, man. Okay, uh, let's go to um, Amparo. Let me have you read the next two paragraphs, please. Uh, we arrived. Mm -hmm. okay. We arrived in Charlotte, found a material shop, grabbed a bite to eat, and then cut, cut the bus back. No livestock was on the bus right home, but some of the people who had been on the trip to Tarma were returning without their pigs, goat, and chickens. Now I really didn't want to know what happened to them, but I had my suspicions. Back in the village, we spent the afternoon joking around and even took a hike down a trail. That led to a beautiful stream. This was where her dad had caught the fish that morning. The water was crystal clear as it, uh, it meandered through the jungle. We sat on a rock for a while, enjoying the view. Ted told me that if we would win the real fight and remain still, for a few minutes, we might get to see some of the jungle's many animals. Sure enough, about five minutes later, a couple of monkeys scampered across a tree limb. Then another one came down a tree on the opposite bank. Colorful fish 
could be seen swimming in the clear water as well as water ducks. She said we might even get lucky and see a, a wak wak, which is the local name for a water monitor or a giant lizard that likes to frequent the water banks on the, of the area looking for ducks and fish. We stayed creek for a half hour at no walk walk. He, we had a wedding to get ready for so back to the house we went. Okay, very good. Very good. Yeah, this is, uh, I've never seen this word before. So uh, your guess is as good as mine. It could be pronounced uh, completely different. But yeah, Bawak, uh, I think it's close enough. Uh, very good. Uh, your short eye sounds were, uh, were excellent. I didn't hear any, uh, hear any issues or anything like that. Uh, the only word that I wrote I down... Uh, the only word that I wrote down was this one. The word is meandered. Okay, uh, this word here, Amparo, the word is meandered. Please repeat that. Meander. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and uh, this word here is the same as uh, uh, kind of uh, wandering, right? Or, or you know, kind of slowly moving. Okay, so um, uh, you would usually, uh, you, yeah, you would us yeah. usually use this talking about a river or talking about something that kind of moves slowly through something else. Okay, you can meander through the park, not really have a, a destination. You're just kind of going slowly and walking. Okay, uh, but yes, a a uh, a, uh, a river. Okay, okay? Like a or a stream. <laughs> yeah, a snake would kind of meander, meander through the tall grass. Okay. Um, yeah, we could we could say that definitely. Okay, as well as a snake would slither. Okay, a, a slither and meander. Okay, things like that. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's the only word that I heard. Uh, very good job. Very good. Okay, let's uh, let's go to Aga. Yes. All right, Aga. Uh, let me have you read the next okay. two paragraphs, please. Okay. Turned out we weren't actually going to the wedding, just the wedding reception. As dusk approached, we all walked to the east side of the village. It was a little park with a gazebo. A generator was buzzing, keeping several strings of co colored lights gl glowing that were struck, uh, strung around the rays and hanging from the ceiling. I noticed a turntable with speakers also hooked up to the generator. I thought I would maybe get to, the, to hear some traditional Filipino folk music. The happy couple showed up. They looked like they were early 20s or maybe even late teens. Tessie told, told me they had grown up together here in the village. Both of, the, all of their fathers were farmers. She said most of the time that's the norm for kids here unless they, des they decided to venture out. The boy had left the village for a couple of, of years to attend school in Maliba, but had returned for her and to work with his father and hers. Okay, good, good. Now, uh, this, uh, the name of the uh, capital there is Manila. Manila. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. excellent job with Filipino. Okay, uh, all of your eyes were good, even that end eye. That's how we would say that, Filipino. Okay, uh, excellent mm -hmm. job. Um, the word I want to practice with you is early. Okay, you had said early. Okay, the word is mm -hmm. er, early. Try that, please. Early. Good. Uh, so they were, um, they were early 20s. Try that. They were early 20s. Good, nice job. Okay, yeah, just remember when you see that E-A-R, okay, mm -hmm. that would be er. All right. Okay. Uh, other than that, your pronunciations were, were very good. Excellent, uh, excellent pronunciations here. Thank you. Great. Um, let's uh, go back to the top. Let's go to Vincenzo. Vincenzo, can you hear me? Wait a moment. All right. Yes, Let me have do you hear me? I can. Oh. Let me have you read this uh, next paragraph. Okay. Only, only one paragraph, okay? Allora, let me see. Uh, I have. Uh, there was, 
there was plenty of food and drinks. I noticed that every time I would turn around, I'd catch people looking at me. Tess had warned me that I'd draw a lot of attention. This bothered me a little. Not that I minded people being curious about me. I just didn't want to take anything from the bride, from the bride and groom. This was the night and I didn't want to become a distraction, so I tried to keep low key. Okay, After, good. Just, just tell uh, there. Okay. Just tell there. Thank you. Uh, let's, uh, let's practice the word warned. Here you had said warned. It is warned. Warned. Okay. Warned. Good, good. Warned. Excellent. Yeah, so that's a D warned. sound at the end. Warned. Okay, not warned, but warned. Try warned. that one more time. Warned. Warned. Good. There you warned. go. Warned. 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 Good. Warned. That's it. Very good. Thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, Larissa, let me have you continue you. on the next paragraph. After? Yes? Yes. Um, after we finished with the feast, the bride and groom's fathers got up and made a speech. I couldn't understand uh, much of what they said. I spoke a little Tagalog, but certainly not enough for as fast as they were speaking and there are so many dialects on the island that it's impossible to know them all. Tessie told me what they were saying. They were happy and thrilled about the union and they looked um, forward, forward to many grandchildren sounded sounded just like what a bride and groom's parents would say back home okay very good thank you um let's practice your uh, your s sound here um so right before speech you had said made made a, a speech okay so we're going to focus on just pronouncing one sound so we're going to say made a speech try that please made a Speech. Made that speech. No. Good. <laughs> I got it. Um, made that speech. There you go. Nice job. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so only one sound before there. And uh, this uh, this language here that they speak in the Philippines is called Tagalog. Tagalog. Yeah, that's how we would pronounce that. Tagalog. Okay. Uh, very good. Nice job. Uh, let's go to our next paragraph. And this is for. Uh, Javier. Okay. When the speeches were done, the couple was in, invited to the center of the floor. The designated, the designated DJ put a record on the turntable and music started. It was a nice waltz. The couple began a slow dance. They looked so nice, he wore a suit with a strange tie, and she wore a long following colorful dress. As they danced, the, the guests would approach them and pin dollar bills to their garments. After nighting between her and his until the bills formed a long chain connected and surrounding the two. I added a ten dollars bill to the chain. I guess they had, they had at least a uh, one hundred dollars by the time the music stopped. They kissed, and then returned to their seats. Someone shoot, shooted in English. Everybody dance. Everybody dance. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, let's uh, let's practice some ed endings. This would be shouted. Shouted. Okay, good. One more time. Shouted. Shouted. Okay. And this here is returned. Returned. Good. And kissed with a T sound. Kissed. Kissed. Good. Nice job. Thank you. Um, all right. Let's go to our next reader. 
uh, Fernando, let me have you read this uh, this next paragraph, please. Okay. The first song played was Maestarona. So much for traditional Filippo folk music. This kept running the music had a pretty a pretty good collection for sure. Rolling Stones, Dobby Brothers, Grand Funk, and lot and lots of other classic rock plus BGs, Donna Summer, Rod Stewart. It was nineteen eighteen. Disco music was booming everywhere, even in a small village in the PI. Okay, very good. All right, now this word here is, uh, this is going to have a short U sound. The word is plus. Plus. Okay, good. And, uh, plus. yeah, good, so plus. This word here is uh, pretty. Okay, so we're going to use a short I sound there, pretty. Try that, please. Pretty, pretty. Good, yeah, one more time, pretty. Pretty. Okay, good. Nice job. Thank you. Uh, let's go to uh, Enrique. Let me have you read this next paragraph, please. Okay. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you just fine. Okay. okay. The party broke up about 10 p.m. I had the deepest sleep that night. All those nights at sea, with the noise, whistles, announcements, drills, in the middle of the night. Now I'll, all I could hear, hear were crickets and the jungle sounds. I could have seriously got used to it. Okay, excellent reading. Yeah, no issues at all. Uh, very good pronunciations of your words here. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, uh, let's go to uh, Diego. Diego, let me have you read, um, just for the sake of time, let me have you read yeah. the uh, about half of this uh, next paragraph, okay? All right. So, can you listen? Yes, I can hear you just from All right. where it says sunrise. Sunrise the next morning, April 5th, my birthday, was announced by the roosters again. I made my way back to the porch to join Mr. and Mrs. Cruz. Tessie was running a little late. On the table this morning was eggs, bread, fried potato, wedges, as well as a plate of fresh meat. I thought the meat was pork, so I scooped a couple of pieces on my, on my plate along with the other food. Okay, good. Uh, let's practice um, three words here. So we're going to focus on the short I sounds. Okay, so instead of saying Mr, Mrs, and Fifth, we're going to say Mr using the short I's. Mr, Mrs, and Fifth. Okay, try that, please. Right. Miss, Mr, Mrs, Fifth. Great. That was awesome. Nice job. Thank you. Um, right. Let's go to Bruno. Hi. Okay. Hi. Let me uh, fin have you finish off the paragraph and then read this okay. uh, one short line, okay? Sure. Tessie walked in and spotted my plate and suddenly went into a tyrant towards her mother. Her mom sheepishly removed the meat from my plate and took the plate with the rest of the meat from the table. Tess sat down beside me and I asked her what that was all about. She replied, I told her not to serve any dog while you were, you were here. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> serve <Certain> dog, <laughs> okay. Very, very good. Yeah, I didn't hear any, uh, any, uh, any issues in your pronunciations. Your EDs were good, walked, okay, spotted, okay, okay things yeah. like that. Yeah, good job. I almost um, but, stayed where yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Okay, you yeah. were here. Okay? okay, excellent. Okay, let's Thanks. go to uh, Amparo. Let me have you finish. Uh, uh, let me have you read this paragraph here, please. The next one. Okay. So it was my birthday, and the residents of Paulius were planning a barbecue in my home. Unbelievable. I only met these folks a few days ago and would most likely never see any of them again. 
and they were throwing me a birthday party. All right, very good. Thank you. Good reading. Excellent job. Um, Aga, okay. let me have you read uh, uh, yeah. about half of this next paragraph, please, until you get to speak uh, to speak to me. Okay. Okay. People started showing up around noon. A pig was roast, roast, roasting over a fire in a in a pit in the backyard. There were plenty of vegetables and fruit, and everyone was just sitting around in groups. The men with the men and the uh, women with the women. Almost everybody at some time during the day came over to speak to me. All right, fabulous. Great job. Some excellent reading, you guys. Uh, thank you very mm -hmm. much for uh, for coming to class. Um, I'm over by a little bit. I wanted to make sure everybody could uh, read again, though. Uh, but yes, you guys are doing great. I hope you're uh, keeping notes for the things that you can uh, practice on and and uh, and uh, get better with. All right. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, I am teaching a little bit later tonight, um, and then uh, after that tomorrow. Okay. All right. Thank see you. Ya. Take care. Bye. Thank, thank you very much. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Yes.